It's night time and uh, should be resting, but I'm not alone. We've got Throdrin and we've got Between on the server, which is actually quite fortunate. Because today Between is going to give us a grand tour of his builds. Um, and I know at some point we're going to get Throdrin, but um, knowing that Between's been very prolific. Um, have you noticed, by the way, I've got sheep in this one. I say this one because I did it. I have now got two barns up, not just the one. So, um, yes, we'll have to get on with another project now. I've got my barns up, one with the sheep. I will breed sheep over the course of the period and colour them in and drop them into place. And, well, the rest you've seen anyhow. So, coming back to between, because he's been a very prolific with his uh, construction and designs um, and this is one I'm looking forward to seeing because we have seen the roller coaster already yeah I think basically uh, it should be a good uh, a good tour so I'm gonna cut because it's a little bit of uh, distance away and I'll meet you back at the spawn village right we're back at the spawn village you can see evil's towers in front of me, but I'm going to turn my back on them. Yes, I am, because we're heading towards Between's location. And I'm going to shoot across this path. Well, no, actually not, because that's jerking me around a little bit. Which will mess up the... Might mess up the graphics, but that's a bit of fun. Whee! So this is where we're heading. We're heading to Between's house. Hello, Blue Chocoboo. Between, I think you've lost a Blue Chocoboo. Oh, I think I've lost a a few chocobos actually, you'll notice them all scattered ah. around the place. Yep, there's uh, green ones and yellow ones and oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, so, as long as none of the gold ones have got out, that's fine. <laughs> as you can see, I've completely disobeyed your instructions and I'm taking a shortcut across your fields instead of coming in your path. You're uh, cheating with your cloud boots again. Yes, with my lovely cloud boots. Uh, I'm getting a nice boost off your beacon. Now, what's this say? Welcome. Except it doesn't say welcome anymore. It says something Elkum. Elkum? Oh, isn't they blowing it up again? <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Bob. Is that what it's supposed to say? Welcome to Bob. Yep. Uh, who's Bob? Uh, Bob is the name of the place. It's it's you 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 not a fan of Bob the Builder then, are you? It's actually from an old cartoon movie, Titan A.E., where he renames the new planet Earth. Bob. Sorry, that was not me. That was not indigestion. That was in fact. What's this? A mammoth? Well, that's my mammoth that won't fit anywhere because it's so huge. Now, did you not lose a mammoth? Yeah, I got a new one. So you've been out and hunted this one down? Yeah, the mammoths are actually relatively common considering the ginormous ice patch that we have near us. I wonder who settled in that. Um, what's this? Go jump in. Not sure it'll work with your boots. <laughs> I've got to take my boots off, have I? It's a bouncy castle. So I'm getting a flavour here. We know that you, well, I've seen it at a distance. Your roller coaster. I don't know why I put my boots in my hand instead of on my feet. But there you go. Um, you've got your roller coaster, bouncy castle, and uh, with, I'm, I'm, am I right in thinking this is shushed you? A, you've got a few animals here, so you could. Is it? Is it? Um, it's a, a kind of a theme. Park. Theme park. You're going for a theme park. Okay, it's looking good. See, I'm still missing some animals. The gorilla's the one that I'm really looking to. I did have one once, but um, I managed to suffocate it into a wall. Well, um, you know, there are, that, that, that's normally cruelty to uh, animals, isn't it? Uh, yeah, possibly. We, we, won't talk about the, we won't talk about the volume of chickens, sheep, cows and pigs that get killed in this game. But, uh, well, speaking of uh, killing pigs, chows and sheep, mausoleum going on over here, um, made with the souls of the dead, is what I'm trying to roof it with. Unfortunately, each one of these blocks requires 45 steps to make. So this... So what? it's a bit of a long-term project, this. So these aren't diamond blocks? No, they are soul steel blocks. 
So that's going to take care of slightly the different diamond box you have. Obviously, the beacon over here. One of the joyous things about Hexit is that diamond is actually quite a common material. So as you yeah. notice, I've I almost made the entire thing out of diamond, but I think I was missing a few blocks and didn't want to use all of my diamond. No. So, but eventually you'll probably turn that round into a into a full diamond pyramid. Then. Uh, no, I'm I'm quite happy having the different layer types. Actually, I no. think it looks slightly better. No. Uh. Right. Possibly considering um, changing the top layer to something else because Hexit does actually give you a few new materials to use. Some of the uh, never materials, I believe. Right. Oh, well, well, that'll be interesting to see if you do it. Right, so a lead on, sir. We've come over for a tour. Time is against us. Um, as of, because I know that we've got a lot. Zoo animals. Yep. Because I know that we've got a lot to see. So, um,. So this is the zoo, zoo animals, cool, cool. You've got a giraffe there, that looks like a polar bear, and a, a bunny rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Detroit, Way. everything. Mm -hmm. I even have a frog around this side. Nice elephant. Uh, That's the elephant. It seemed to go missing occasionally, I think it falls into the floor. Oh yes, it's just done that right now. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Do you remember the alligator? Yes, the one I found for you. It's uh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Looking good. Looking good. So you aim yeah, to get one of. Before we do walk inside, I'll note that my entire area is blocked off by an invisible wall. Oh yes. Ah, is that why I can't move anywhere? Keep the creatures out. Yeah. It doesn't it's, keep the creatures uh, out. The secret. No. Which is a little bit annoying, and um, it does actually cut off there anyway. Oh, that's good, yeah. So I wanted the wall that you couldn't see to try and keep stuff out, and it didn't really work. Uh -huh. Now, so, I've got I've got to just highlight to the viewers that um, Between is having a slight technical issue with his sound. He is slightly cutting out at this time. But we will try and remedy this, and we will soldier on accordingly. So I might have to ask you yeah, to repeat a few things if it happens, but um, that's just needless to say we are using TeamSpeak um, as the uh, the gang user on the time, and it is giving us a bit of a bit of a back feed here at the moment. So anyway, so yes, so these look like you've got all the types of berries. It should be all um, these last four are never berries and the first four are just overworld berries. The never berries actually give you um, it's a very short debuff by day buff. So for example one of them will give you uh, blindness for about a second and then night vision for 15 and they're all along the same similar theme. So just to go over that because you did actually break up there. You get a minor debuff and there but a long term buff. So it's giving you a little bit of negative uh, yeah. for the positive. Good, good, good. Okay, and I see you've uh, moved an island down from the sky and rebuilt it down here. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I had um, goo whenever I needed it. Right, as so I know. Obviously, the easiest way to do that is plant some trees in the goo soil. And um, yeah, yeah, a little bit of chocobo armor here, then. Eh? Well, I think it's an item that. Um, Evil Al mentioned earlier the coin. You mm -hmm. can hear me just dinging along here quite casually. That's yep. me picking up about six chocolate so, What six? Uh, sixty. Sixty chocolate feathers. And, and then you just okay. And then you use them to make this armor, yeah. Yeah. It was just trying to use a few of them up because you just end up with so many. See. Um, Chocobo, these are kind of the different levels of breeding. Mm -hmm. It's um, yellow, you get um, blue and green, mm -hmm. and then you get white ones, and you breed white with yellow to get black ones, and then you breed black ones and white ones to get the golden one that you have sat there. Ah. I actually have two golden chocobos, that's a spare one. I have one. And there's the gold one on the top of the range. Yeah, the gold one um, can in fact fly, which is uh, quite a fun thing to do. 
Ooh, didn't know that. And uh, yeah, a little bit of. Uh, th this is the. Um, Geishal or Geishal? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, to be honest. Geishal uh, uh, Green. I did have a large number of fertility pads here because they improved the chances of getting a golden one. And the golden ones are what you need to breed the golden chocobos. But I have since moved them to the uh, Spawn Village's Essence Berry Farm. Ah, to help move that one. Right, okay, well that looks very interesting. Very good, very good. You still looks like you've been exceptionally busy there. And I'm trying not yeah, to I'll create... Just slowly expand it out. <laughs> I, I wouldn't worry about it, I don't... As I've got my golden chocobos now, I don't use them again. Right. Right. Oh, and here comes the good old drain. That's good that we're going inside in a minute. Right, excellent. Picked uh, up I a... believe you've mentioned the sky way the beacon before with the streaming stars. So we'll go over that. Okay. That's my riding truck boat in his own little self sustained place there. Called Jim. Yeah. And uh, this is the secret door to my town. Now, you obviously realise that you just told everybody where your secret door is, yeah? Um, I think most people can notice that one, it's not <laughs> that's that, uh, hidden. <laughs> and into the basement. Into the basement, ooh, okay. Oh, right, okay, so that'll be the false walls again. Uh, yeah, that's the camo blocks again from secret doors. Now, this is my armour setup. Um, I believe have all the armor sets in the game, although mm -hmm. this one isn't finished. Um, obviously you can quite clearly tell what a few of them are. Oh, they're all from multiple mod packs, some are from meteors. Um, obviously the chocobo one there, there's cloth, there's cactus. Um, there's the hexit ones at the front. Obviously yeah. I'm using the thief one. Yes, I did notice nice that. And we've seen a couple of we saw a couple of these um, at Evil's place, and um, a lot. Of the, this is this is very impressive. I believe there's quite a lot of them in the small village dotted around as well. Yeah. Well, it just shows how lazy ass I have been when I haven't actually got any of these. Um, yeah, because I'm just a lazy ass. That's looking good. It's looking good. That must have taken you a bit of time uh, to play. I did have an essence berry farm down here, but I've since moved it into the small village to make it even larger, along with the fertility pads, because they do actually make them grow faster, which is quite handy. Yeah, but good. I just haven't bothered to move do you not the more uh, berries. Right, do you not get issues of um, monsters spawning down here? Um, yes, yes I do. Ah, okay. Interesting. Cool. Okay. Yep. And sure, it's strange. So this is where you... Um, because, see, because I have a permanent night vision buff on, I occasionally forget what the light levels are. <laughs> yes, it's so not dark, I'm isn't here, it? some spawns, and you'll just get shot in a minute. So that's and a skeleton. skeleton one. Yep. And one people won't quite recognise if they don't play Hexit. These are pretty much mini ghasts in here. I don't know if you can quite see them through the Yes, you can. Hello! Go in. <laughs> they will shoot at you. <laughs> so they're mini gas and they're from the Twilight Forest, yeah? Yep. Okay. Uh, this does go all the way down the rock because this was a habit of mine. Not obviously playing on uh, Hexit previously. Um, I mined down to bedrock to try and get the materials, not realising that in. Everything is near the surface as well. Ah. So I didn't really need to. But I did manage to find basalt down there, which is what my entire town is made of, the black brick. The black brick. Yes, which um, which you have in, layers on as well. It's, yeah, it's about four layers above the rock is as steep as basalt goes. Mm. This is my farm here, the auto farm. It sounds like it's right underneath the mammoth. Problem, yeah, the slight problem I had with my auto farm is I found I had to have the power going upwards, which is slightly odd, but I know there 
our base around it if I really worked it, but it worked there, so I left. Um, I've tried doing it both sides. It does work, I still need to do something in the middle. If you just watch there, I'll let the farm off and you can watch it go. Wait, let me take my armour off, it won't come my way. There we go, okay. Now, I recognise this farm from somewhere. Oh, I see what you've yep. done. You've left the um, one in the middle, which you should remove. Yeah, uh, I was working on ways to fix that, mm. uh, but I didn't really use the farm much after I'd got that put in, so I never got around to doing it. I believe <laughs> if I just put in a hole and a hopper, mm -hmm. it should fix that problem quite easily. Right, and how many layers have you got of this uh, farm? Uh, mine is down four layers, I believe. That's an awful lot of wheat. Uh, yep. So are we uh, going back up now? I seem to get that much, yep, because down is literally just down to bedrock and a rather large cave which we saw. Yep. You do... Episode. You do like to build quite compact, don't you? Uh, yep. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Each level is generally dedicated to something. Um, my bed used to be on here, but I've since moved it to another location. Um, I believe it's been shown these auto smelters as well. It's yep. got two going there. One's a general one, and one's for cobalt. Excellent. Excellent. And just random chests, they've all got different things in them. Do try mm -hmm. to keep stuff separate. Mm -hmm. Plants, for example. And in my tower, every other level has an outside. It doesn't work. So we go up to the next one. Because yep. that was the first trial. So this is your enchantment room? Yeah. We've got enchantment. Okay. Um, your alchemy. We actual little bookcases in there as well. Uh -huh. And this is your alchemy room? Yeah. It shows a lot better out here. Oh yes, and you've got a reef up. So have you, because you did have a wheat farm out here, have you removed that now you've got your automated one? Uh, yeah, wheat's slightly higher up. Ah. So I've got my own personal never portal that I don't tend to use anymore. Uh, no, because of the uh, portal, the other the doors? Yeah, it's just quicker to go via the portal mm. chamber these mm. days. No, um, this? this is what I was mentioning earlier about souls. Uh, if you've got um, either a Reaper item, I can't quite remember what it's called, a Scythe, I think, or an item enchanted with it. Fair uh, enough. Would that, be, would that be what I've got in my hand now? Well, that's the one. Yeah. If you use the hold back ability to kill something, uh, I think hold right click, mm -hmm. it will produce a soul. And then you can absorb the souls in a little jar and pour them in here. It's kind of full of enchanting using souls and uh, every five will make uh, an iron bar into soul steel or right. uh, soul cloth with wool. Alright, and what's the benefit of the soul cloths and soul steels? Um, if I remember correctly, they do a full set of armour and weapons and if you, you, you suck in another soul while you have those armours, they repair. Oh. So it's a way of self-repairing stuff. Ooh, got stuck in one of your steps there. Right. Okay, I need on. That's, so that's on. just my storage. Uh, this is Tinker's Construct area. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we've been through there before. Yep. Um, cotton plants outside. And lovely weather. Is it still raining? Oh dear. Yeah. I'm not um, sure. This is my internal smelter. Right, okay, that's... So, yeah, this one took up two levels. Two levels, but it's quite a sizable um, smelter. Yeah, it's... The slight problem I have with it inside is, although I think with yours, for example, you've got ports coming out of both sides to drain it, because mm -hmm. I've only got the two, so it does get a bit slower for me. Right. Um, the next level... Should I be scared? It's actually glass. It is glass there. Yeah, it's clear glass, that's right. why it looks 
looks a bit invisible off the sides. Right, and, and that is the bottom of my heated indoor pool. <sighs> Lovely. So this is your heat. Uh, so this is what you. Know, we hang out, have your cocktails, and uh, relax on a, yep. on a and look out at the pouring down rain and go. Ah. Yep. Don't need the rain. Yep. Yep. It's a bit oh. disconcerting looking down in the lava, but you know. You know. Well, I trust my uh, glass. It's <laughs> you can see it a little bit better when you yep. pour anyway. And this is a room for rent then. Yeah, and I've just ended up falling outside. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two rooms for rent. Oh, uh -huh. yep. and then um, these are the construction modules. So um, it's kind of like enchanted, but you put your item in, use yeah. some experience, and it will break an item down into its component material. So ah, right. It okay. works on almost everything in all the mod packs. There are one or two items it doesn't work for. Yeah, I think but it's, it's nice that it works across mods, which is kind of handy. Yep. I did actually get round to breaking down all of my spare armor weapon sets at one point. Well, that's good. And get the materials back out of it. That's quite good. Yep. Okay. Ah, now this is a different. Uh, this is a red version of the uh, yep, obsidian the one, one, which yeah. is blood. Right. So this one's slightly different in what I can do. It does still do the enchants and stuff and makes. No, that one doesn't make the material actually. You need to use the blood on some seeds, which I believe on the next level. Looks like you've got a cloud coming through you. Yeah, that's probably Right, and, uh, and these, these are. On these. Right. Um, it's actually one thing if you use the siphon, then you get two as opposed to one. And um, there you're just making biomass on might be some other uses for biomass, but I can't quite remember. Oh, I literally just made this entire lock just to make an army set. <laughs> because obviously I was missing one that didn't want to be. Yep. And I can see you've got your portals to the portal chamber, back down to the ground, and... That's actually another dimension. Um, if you want to go through, I'm not going to follow you, because I'll be blinded in there. You'll be blinded in there. Yeah, it's a weird thing about that dimension, that if you have night vision, you can't see anything. You can't see anything. Okay, right, okay, well I'm going to shit through, but what we're going to do is I'm going to cut and catch the guys over to the side, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, um, it's, it's, we've come through the door, and, um, should it be, I shouldn't walk off this weight. Um, you can. Mm. I was a little worried about that myself when I first went in there. But it's as far as I can tell, you can walk as far as you want. Um, obviously, I've not actually done a lot of work in there because of the night vision problem. But I may one day just build as I feel in there. Right. So it's an extra dimension. You've got nothing in it. And what would you do? Build build a house or something in it? Um, my original plan was to build the monster spawners that have in the basement in there, so that if we were to escape, they've got nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. But that would mean I can attack them without my full armor set, so I went against it. I've not at all decided what to do in there, to be honest. Mm -hmm. be interesting to see when you do do something in the future. Right, we'll be back when I'm on the other side of the store. Right, we're back with Between, and um, we've got to move on. Or... Uh, yep, yeah. just before we leave, the slightly smaller green block it is a very important block to me, because using my Rayfi, it's this little item here. You can right click it and it will locate it. And then you can use a Ender Pearl with the Rayfi to teleport back here as long mm -hmm. as you're in the overworld. So, what happens if I pickaxe it? Um, you'll probably pick it up, I should think. And <laughs> I might have to make a new one. <laughs> I do have a few of them set about in other worlds. I believe there's one in a Twilight and ah. one in the Never. Now, this is the really, really interesting one. This is your roller coaster, and I recognise this collecting device. I think I, oops, I think I oh, used oh. it. Okay. Yep, um, I mostly borrowed yours. <laughs> um, I think it's 
pretty much the same design as yours. Right, so. Um, is it right if I uh, take a little trip, sir? Yeah, I'm going to follow in behind you and mm -hmm. see what happens when two of us go down there. Right, so I think I was on this once, but I think you've done some amendments to it since, so um, I'm not going to deceive... Uh, possibly, I know I've made one section slightly larger. Moving, moving, got to move. Here we go, here we go. Is that, is that kind of like... No, no, that's not yet. It's when you start going down you get the screams, isn't it? So it'll be about now. Yeah, actually, I'm ah! oh, yeah, a little bit of lag. Yeah. Ah. There's a hole in the ground. Whoa! Oh, it's, it's, there's fire. Fire, there's water. Wow, it goes under the river as well. This is new. Um, it's not new, it's just quite a bit extended because I felt that you barely saw it, like you barely see the fire section. Yeah, but you know, but if, this... you're, if you're burning people whilst they go through it, you don't need that one. But this is good! Yeah, so I how don't long... really want to extend the fire section because no. of the way it sets your light. You see, so you exactly. Like killing someone. <laughs> so how long did this take you to... Ah! Oh, very good. Um, I think it was a couple of weeks actually, and then I slowly extended it as well after I finished it. For example, these sides at end are an extension, as mm. was the knee drop. I was hoping that the drop would actually catapult you somewhere, but unfortunately mm -hmm. you literally just fall. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to help with do that, so I'll just take my hammer off again, and I can go bleh. There we go, cool. That's very good, very good. And two weeks of work. Now this is new. This is the, um, yeah, these are the ones that make you the kind of floaty path, isn't it? Yeah, they don't work as well as I'd like them to, because they're very slow and just stop. So how do you use these? I, I thought I wanted a different bit. Um, you have to I think, shift and jump on them, if I remember correctly. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Hey -hey. Oh, there we go. As you can see, it's quite slow, and you do have to make sure you're going in the right direction when it turns, or you will just fall. It's fine, I just about flew off the edge a couple of times. So what are we actually heading to on this? This looks like a rather large tree. This is a tree I also made. I randomly found a seed in one of the twilight chests, which was in fact for one of these trees, apparently they're exceptionally rare, mm -hmm. and so I thought, what can you do when you've got a giant tree, but build a tree house? So you haven't made this tree, this is a tree from the twilight forest that you've fortunately got a seed for. Yep, and, and it's tree. obviously grown, I've gone to the top, and just using wood from the same tree, I've just built out a tree house. Very nice, very nice. Is this your new home then, is it? In the sense that you said you were moving your bed and things like that? Yep. And, uh, oh, I don't think we've seen all this last time we were here. I no, no, it was, it was quite far. quite nicely. You, you still get... a lot of weapons, a few random items in showcases here. Uh -huh. Yes, so... Falling down your invisible staircase. Absolutely here. loads and loads of pictures that I've just looted from other towers. <laughs> yes, you've got a rather large collected art. <laughs> um, pretty much everything in here that's in a case or on the walls is something I have looted from a tower or somewhere. <laughs> that's looking good, sir, and plenty of nice weapons. I happened to lose my big sword when I was fighting something recently. I don't know what it was. It I've was done um, that once or twice. Yeah, it was a uh, silverfish when I was clearing out the church. It wrote, I got a special one and it robbed my weapon. Hence why I'm now running around with a scythe in my pocket because that's what it dropped. It took a better weapon and gave me a scythe. So, oh, now yeah. what's this up here? There's two trophies that I have here. Um, that's a lich's skull, that's a hydra's skull. 
and some people have probably recognised the Ender Dragon's egg. So you've been to the Ender with a gang and you robbed the egg? Uh, I actually went and killed him myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you found that you haven't robbed it? <laughs> yeah, um, he was actually quite weak, unfortunately. I, I thought he'd be a lot stronger and he turned out um, just to be rather annoying. Ah. Me, no. me that it took yeah, me well. forever to kill him. Um, what's the door up there too? Is that to the... Um, you might have just snuckly noticed when we went into my basement that there was a door to the right. Mm. And that's actually where that leads. It's ah, uh, right. the quicker way here. I've got you. And then I have fallen down already. But you've got the hidden staircase again. And obviously again using um, secret doors, camo blocks. This goes all the way down and out. Oh, now that seems like a machine gun sound effect. No, no, not quite. But that's the Beatles from Twilight Forest, isn't it? Yeah, well, I um, managed to remove them close enough to the treehouse so you don't hear them, but um, it's quite an awkward task to do it. Half oh, jeez. Creepers! Oh, dear. <laughs> well, at least the ball will stop them getting out. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll just spring on in, and I was like, now that's the wall. Yeah. Oh, the lads. No, I'm not going to get them. I'm not going to blow up anything of yours, so. Um, so, yes, but your treehouse, does that not then fall out with of your uh, your protected land, as it were? Um, that just happens to be where I put the tree. I do feel that... Now I should have it right in the middle of the roller coaster and built a roller coaster all around it. But it was a bit late by the time I decided that the tree had already grown. Yeah. Well, I've, I've, I'm seeing something really strange, although I've just killed it. Um, a creeper on a spider. Now, um, which is near that star. Um, so, and you've got a village here. It looks like a village here, but it's um, in bits and pieces. Um, that's just a failed village that was there when the server started. Get them all over the place. I think this yeah. is one of the slightly more complete ones, because normally it's just a building or so left. It's just one place. building, but there seems to have a few to it. And a well. So. And I've just noticed an old gravestone of my between was blown up by a creeper. How surprising. <laughs> Excellent. Well, seeing that you have a few creepers around here. Now, I, I know that time's against us, so I know that we've blasted through this, and I do appreciate that. Because obviously it's quality stuff, and we would like to have spent a bit more time sitting on a few things. But um, is there anything else you've got to show us before we call it an episode? Uh, I believe that's all I have for now. For now, Bill. Yeah. Knowing you, give you a few weeks, and you'll have something. You'll probably have the roller coaster changed. Yeah, I haven't done much work on that recently at all, to be honest. I keep feeling I should do more. I'm actually running low on iron, surprisingly enough. Well, you've got your farms underneath the, uh, underneath for you, you've, the berry farms, I should say, just to clarify. So I'm sure they'll Yeah, I'm actually considering them. moving into the spawn village with all of those and making a ginormous smelter for mm. all the berries. Sounds a good idea. Sounds a very good idea, in fact. Oops, just falling into one of the buildings. Now, um, right, okay, well, I'll like it. all that's left to say is when I find you. Thank you very much for your time today. I do appreciate that. Obviously, um, we will be doing a little bit of work with uh, Between Sound because of these technical issues, but we have held off for a wee while um, recording this episode, and we felt it was just better to get on and do it so you can see this, this guy's amazing work. So I'm hoping you've enjoyed the episode. Um, and I hope you enjoyed having Between give us his quick tour. Uh, even though throughout it we've been hearing the mammoth having a good conversation with it. Um, so I guess all that's left to say is um, goodbye from me and goodbye from Between. And um, we will see you in the next episode pretty damn soon. So take care of yourself guys. <laughs>